In this tutorial, we will be using uh, particle effects to fill this bowl full of uh, little balls of cereal. So this is the bowl that I made um, in an earlier tutorial, and I want to change my menu options from polygons to end dynamics. That's where most of our um, particle stuff is. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is make this bowl something that will collide with particles. And so I have to come to the end mesh here and choose Create Passive Collider when I have this bowl selected. When I do that, it's not going to look any different, but now um, the cereal, when I make it, will collide with it. And the cereal is a particle effect, so we need to create an emitter. An emitter is something that uh, shoots out particles, and we can use it for a lot of different cool effects, like fire and smoke and explosions. Uh, come to Create End Particles, and I want to make sure the balls is checked, so click on that one, and then you might have to open it up again. We're going to choose Create Emitter. Now that emitter should be right at 0, 0. You see there's actually two parts to it. Uh, this N represents the, the gravity that's applying, and so I'm going to just move that out of the way. I actually want to have this shape here. This is the emitter. It's just a little round uh, shape, and I'm going to pick this up and move it so that it's just above my bowl, because it's going to shoot some particles down, and I want them to be caught by the bowl. So I'm going to move them around, um, maybe a little lower, closer into the center. So to run my particles, I need to, uh, there, it's an animation, so I need to hit play over here, and when I do that, you can see that it starts shooting out particles. And if I stop it, then it goes back, I can re reset it by um, dragging my timeline, this is the timeline. If I need more, I can always increase the number here. I can drag this slider to the right and have more frames. The more frames I have, the more it's going to uh, emit. Um, if I go into the attributes for the emitter, I can't remember which one it is, there we go, attribute editor, um, this end particle shape right here is how I can change some things in it. So inside of here I can change the, um, actually I don't think I can change the count in there, I might have to do, yeah, so in emitter 1 I can change how many particles are created per second, uh, and everything else is inside of this particle shape. So I can change the size here. Uh, the default radius is 0.2. If I make it smaller, then I'm going to have smaller particles. And notice that they also bump up against each other. And because the bowl is a passive collider, they're also in there. And then it resets because that was the end of my frames. If I need more frames, I can always just drag more here by clicking this little box and dragging it out some more. Um, some other things I can do, I can change the shading. So the shading is the coloring of it. So down in color, you can see that Right now it's a gradient from red to blue. If I don't want it to be a gradient, I can click here and make a new color. And then when I click on that, I can choose the color that I want. So let's say I only want it to be straight red to blue without any shading in between. If I create two new colors and I make those the same red and blue and I put them right next to each other, that keeps the gradient from happening. So let's say that maybe I want red, white, and blue. So I'll add more. And the closer those uh, color options are next to each other, the less it's going to fade from one to the other. And so I can create um, a bunch of different color combinations. I could have a single color, I could have multiple colors, um, and that's all done right there. When I play that now, it's just going to fill. I can hit stop. And now I have a bowl that's full of cereal and is ready to go. And I probably have that too high. If I drop this down a little bit, let me try that again, so that it actually fills up kind of around the emitter, then it won't look like it's being dropped. So I'll just add some more here. And I've just created a bowl of cereal. And if I want to put this into my my uh, serial box UV map, I can render this. If I click on render, and I can save this image and open it up in Photoshop and cut it out and put that in the, the image for my serial box and so that the, the serial on the box will match the actual serial. So there's a lot of cool things that I can do with this. Um, and that's one of the first particle, particle effects that we uh, use in this class.